and welcome to this CAVCO Maker Plus tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to bring a grayscale image straight off the internet into CAVCO Maker Plus. There's a, quite a special way of doing this and when we bring it in we are going to clean it up so we can machine it. So I have CAVCO Maker Plus open and you just come up here, new model. Because we're dealing with a 3D image, we need the resolution slider bar all the way up as far as it'll go. Now, providing you have a fairly reasonable computer, Windows 10, you can leave it up there and forget about it, quite honestly. Uh, it just allows you to have nice crisp in images are not quite so pixelated. Um, today we're going to be working in millimeters so we're set on millimeters and we are going to set the size of our job to actually 236 millimeters by 400. Now this is a, the start of our program, or the datum point. Uh, now you can set this really wherever you wish, in any corner. But normally when you're using a CNC router, it's this bottom left hand corner, which is where we're going to put it today. And we press OK. So we're going to be working in the 3D screen. Uh, you can switch between 3D and 2D by these two little tags up here. That's 2D screen, that's 3D screen. Now to do this particular job, it is quite necessary for you to be in the 3D window because it won't work in the 2D. <laughs> okay. So what we simply do, we come up here to Relief, Import. Now, when you go into Import, because this is a grayscale picture, we come down and, let's see, Desktop, Mona Lisa model. Now I, I use this model quite a lot actually for demonstration purposes because it's quite a nice model to deal with. But we're actually importing an image. So you just double click and it imports the grayscale image. It doesn't look an awful lot at the moment but we're going to alter a few things up here now. Um, so what you need to do is take the lock off and I know I want this, I want the Z in this to be, at the moment it's um, pretty well one millimeter, it's 0.977. Now that would be fine for something like a lithothane, so you could leave it like that and, and machine it. One day we'll get onto the subject of lithothanes and I'll show you how to make one of those. But in our case, we need this to be, the Z to be 15 millimeters. Now I'll warn you, the picture is going to look horrible when you bring it in, but there are 3D tools that we can use in Maker Plus to clean it up, ready for us to machine. So we're going to OK that. I did warn you, it's not very nice, is it? So we're going to paste that down. OK, so now this is where Maker Plus comes into its own. We can now manipulate and clean up this 3D relief. So we can 
open this which is the smooth and sculpt in tools. So now over this side we have smoothing and editing tools that we can use to manipulate this relief. So I want maximum yeah, maximum smoothing. So these slider bars you can alter to, to suit your, your needs. Um, now the strength, now what I'd like to do with something like this is bring the strength uh, slide about all the way back to two or three percent. Uh, so you know you can do things gradually. So two or three percent. Uh, it's three percent. That'll be okay. And because we want to do the whole of this relief, we can put that all the way up and make it as. And you see, it's got like a a dark shadow. Now that's the area that is going to affect. So all you do, it won't do anything until you hold the left mouse key down. So we're just going to sweep, sweep over with the left mouse key. That's not doing an awful lot, is it? Maybe a couple of percent more. Eight. I'll take clean her face up a bit. So you can alter the size of the area. You can see it just smooths it all out. Takes all the pieces, pieces that we don't want. You can see it's like wrinkly. I mean, there's, there's supposed to be some wrinkles there, but not the, the, the noise then. I'm just taking the noise out. Let's uh, make that a little smaller. So you just quietly work on this. You see it's removing the, the noise that we don't want. So you just go over the whole picture and you can see that take some of the blemishes out of her cheeks and her forehead and you can rotate the picture around and have a look not really to worry too much about the black background or there is a nasty bit there and you see there's a nasty bit there so just use it like an eraser if, if you will just to take the, the marks out that you don't want bit of noise there and you can you spend a bit of time doing this you can clean it right up and make a, a very very nice relief with this that's looking a lot better maybe a little bit more here
So you can see generally now it's looking a lot better than it was. You just got to spend some time with it and see it's just taken that right out from there. Makes a beautiful job. Just take your time. Now these wrinkles here, you want you want the creases in the clothes. Let's take that little bit there. So you've got to become a little bit of an artist as well when you're doing something like this. Oh, that's not going to hurt us at all. Okay, so I'm, oh, back of the hands, just a little. So we're going to accept that, and we're going to come out. So that is how to bring a grayscale image in, alter the Z, and clean it up. So now we'll just do a, a toolpath with this. So to open the toolbox, so to open the toolpaths up, it's just come here, and it's a 3D toolpath strategy. The whole relief. Uh, we'll do a finishing on it. We're working in millimeters, and this would be a a three mil. In actual fact, the ball mill that I want to use is missing out of this tool list. So I'm going to show you something else and add it in. In this, uh, we are going to select the three millimeter ball mill, and I'm going to say copy. Uh, select the copy, and we are going to edit this one because this particular one is a. I'm going to put a capital T for taper, and it's a two millimeter. Two millimeter. And select OK. So we're going to select that one and now we'll go back into it and we will set it up for our machining um, 0.2. That will be OK. Step down, that's fine. Actual fact, I'm going to set that right up at uh, 3 millimeters because I want it to be done in, in one cut. Feed rate. I, got an, I have an industrial machine, so I can really bring the feed rate right up. So we're going to say... Seventy-five... millimeters a second, which is three inches a second. And 30 in the Z operation. Now I am going to raise this right up to 22,000 RPM. My machine will go to 24, but and I can raise it up to that. It you know you got to, you got to see how the job is going. Um, Tolerance, that's okay. Now then, we're going to set up the roughing as well, and we'll do the two pass, it's two two pass together. Um, we're going to use an end mill for that, and we're going to use a twelve. Yeah, we use a twelve millimeter oh, ball mill. We use a. 12 millimeter end mill. We'll select that and now we'll
step over actually we can make that four millimeters and step down three three point five is pretty fair we'll make this um, sixty and we'll make this twenty five and I'll do 18,000 RPM. That works for, for my machine anyway. Your machine might be a bit slower or a bit faster. Um, I'll call this tool number two. And this tool number one, just to separate them. Um, climb, cutting is fine. Lead in moves. Yes, we'll have lead in moves ramp moves so the tool ramps in it's always nice to do that safe said oh it's a little bit too much 10 mil is fine and home position in the z 5 mil is okay now then set up the material i know the material size is 18 mil so you know we're going to leave a quite a still quite a substantial backing on the material. Um, top of the material, yep, everything there is okay. So we're going to okay that. And we're going to say test cut six. Calculate now. Okay, so the tool paths have been calculated, so we can get out of that. And now we will simulate the tool path, which is down here. Simulate, fast, simulate. And there it is in bronze. So, and if you want to move this around, you can hold the the mo mouse scroll wheel down and turn it around and have a look. And you can see it is quite a, a deep 3D. So thank you for watching today and I hope it's been a help to you. Um, you know, if you want to see anything uh, specific just leave a, a note down in the comments there and uh, of course the more comments the merrier. And um, I'd just like to remind you that below this video and at the end of this video there will be a CAVCO discount code for Maker, Maker Plus, and of course the main program of CAVCO. So thank you for joining me, and it's bye for now.